we want to go into our trauma because the more we go into it, the more we can heal it. And running away from these parts of ourselves is the biggest piece of our mental health needs. It's going back to our wounds, reparenting our wounds, and nurturing and holding ourselves with ourselves together. Yeah, then one of the triggers that I, I think of first is when we're in school and we have to do a family tree and that often provokes a lot of emotion for adoptees because there's a, a notice of, well, wait, who am I writing my family tree about? There's a lot of information I don't know about myself. So that can trigger a lot of emotion for a young child and confusion. Um, they would start to write their family tree. I remember doing mine, but thinking, wait a minute, I, I have this other family and, and how do I, you know, what does that mean for me that, that noticing that loss at that time? It doesn't work in our favor to be the adaptee and always adapting to others. We need to do, it is called self care and it's okay. It's not being selfish which is hard for us because again, the ego goes, oh, this is selfish. That this means you're not taking care of everybody else or you're going to lose this attachment if you don't meet every need because our fear gets triggered, which is what drives this behavior. So who am I? How do I fit in with my family, with my community, with my peer group? Um, who do I look like and who do I want to be is another question that we will, you know, go through in our self-exploration. You know, it's unfortunate that we don't get these important pieces to our cultural, ethnic, and racial heritage. <laughs> we all will never know what it would, be, what it would have been like. Mm -hmm. And there's a term called the ghost kingdom. And it will all be... All these thoughts will be in the ghost kingdom. What I would have looked like, what career I would have had had I stayed with them. We can fantasize, but that's all we get to do. Take care of your mental health because you're worth it.